There is a house in New Orleans, and it's still called the House of the Rising Sun. This is how to play this classic song. I have taught this song on electric guitar before, but I wanted to cover it on acoustic because it is such a beginner classic. Everybody, so many people, their first song is this song. So uh, let's look at the chords first of all, then I'll show you a little trick with the picking hand, and hopefully we can make this as easy as possible so that all of you guys watching this video can play this just with a little perseverance. The chord we have when in standard tuning standard acoustic guitar and we have the A minor chord which is played one two three and we have the C major chord which is a little bit more of a stretch and this will ring out a lot better if we have all your fingers over at this side of the fret rather than like this we want to be right up against what we call the fret wire here fret one fret two or the wire two fret three Rather than just being in anywhere in the middle of this area, get it right over there. And especially for the chords that are in this particular song, which are a little bit of a stretch of the hand, uh, it can really help just to have that thumb a little bit higher than you might be used to. Not right over the top and not like this. We need those fingers curled over right onto the tips, but that thumb just a little bit higher, keeping that wrist nice and straight, and that can lead to some really great sounding chords. So that was A minor to C, which only requires a movement of that third finger. The next chord we have is a standard D major. Now again, we could easily play a D like this, but that first finger might not ring out as well unless it's right up against the second fret, fret one, fret two, that second fret wire right there. And these fingers are right on the tips and they're really curled over like a claw hand like this. That's how we can get that D chord ringing out great. Um, the last chord of this part of the sequence is an F, but we're going to play the easier option, which is an F major 7, which is the same as the C chord we played before. This little finger is not down, but I'm not keeping it stuck out like this because that's going to make it harder to play all these chords. I'm going to keep that little finger right there. And the F chord is the F with the second and third fingers moved down by one string like this. The first finger is right on the tip also like it is on the C and that sounds like that. So chord one, A minor, move the third finger, chord two, slide everything a little bit over this way and it will sound better. That's the C major chord, chord two. Chord three, D major again, slide them all over this side, bring them towards you and then the F like a C. Really worth drilling those four changes. Just change between them in that order to really get used to the, the changes. First of all, last bit, really simple. A minor, that first chord that we went for, to an E major, which is the same chord shape, but watch this, we move everything up by one string. Now when I do that, I'm not gonna do this, because that's really gonna make, make me lose the shape and make it take longer to change between chords. So I'm gonna go from this and then just try and slide my fingers up. I am lifting off, and I'm kind of going like this as much as possible, kind of sliding. So when I do... So lots of training of just this is really going to help, just drilling these chord changes and just getting used to perhaps this new skill of learning the guitar. With the picking hand, we're doing something a little bit cool. We're doing something uh, which is called picking the root note of each chord, which is actually the lowest note that we want heard. So the thicker strings are low, and the thinner strings are high. Okay, that's my falsetto voice. I'm a <laughs> fan of falsetto singing, my apologies. But the lowest note we actually want heard in the A minor is this one, okay? So we pick that, and that's our root note. That's what a bass player would be playing if we were rocking out in a band. And then we do a little strum. And that's where I want us to start. I just want to do that, but for each chord that is in this song, which is that A minor, pick, strum. Then pick the same string for the C chord and strum again. Uh, then we're gonna pick the D, open D string, string four of the D chord. And again, we do a strum. Finally, it's the F note which is the fourth string, and then we strum. 
And we also have the A minor and E minor, which it would be string five and then string uh, six. Now let's delay this strum. So we're kind of dragging it one at a time. No, we're not doing straight down where we're here. One sound. We're sort of getting, we're sort of getting this effect. Kind of like a harp. Boom, da -da -da. Okay, let's have a go at that together. Three, four. Remember, if you need any part of this plane slowing down, YouTube has a feature in the bottom corner where you can slow me down to 0.75 speed. Uh, one would be normal speed and then 0.75 is slower, so I will start talking like this. But if it goes too fast for you, you can always slow any video down on YouTube. You are in control. It's a really handy feature. Make the most of it. So, once we're doing that, when we get down to the bottom, we want to do three picks Always, 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 always a string one, two, three. Okay, doesn't matter what chord we're playing, doesn't matter what else we're doing, we do it with strings one, two, and three. It is fine to do that with a down pick, which will probably be more comfortable for, for each of you. There will be some people that might prefer to do each of those with an up pick, up, up, up. That's totally fine as well, complete personal preference. I'm imagining that we're just getting started playing guitar with this one. It's probably the down picks that will be easier for most of you, therefore. But go with whichever feels better for you. Therefore, for each chord, we go pick, strum, one, two, three. One more time, that was pick and string five, slow strum, one, two, three. Pick string five, one, two, three. Pick string four, slow strum, one, two, three. Pick string four again, one, two, three. Then finally, That would be the famous intro from this classic song. That would sound like, you know, like the Animals version or most other versions that you're kind of going to hear have that riff. It's just slightly different once the words start, um, start happening. So there is a house in New Orleans. There's just a little bit more structure. So anything that you want to work on from getting these chords ringing out great to working on the picking or anything like that, get that first what is it, 10 seconds or something like that? Get that solid first and then repeat it. Just get used to repeating each of those chords. Because it does have to be at some kind of pace before it starts to really sound like the riff. If it's really granny slow, which is where it has to start for you to play it right. And don't be too harsh on yourself with, with the picking but get it something like up to speed first and just repeat it. This is a guitar riff. It's a joyful thing to play a recognizable guitar riff. And for many people that might be enough for this song. But for those of you that want to carry on and learn kind of the whole thing, the sequence is very similar, but it's not exactly the same. The first chord, four chords are the same. There is a house in New Orleans. Now it's they call the rising, and then we stay on the E. And that's the first way around. So the extra bit was when we came back to the A minor, it went to C, and then an E. Chord sheet links are in the description if you would like to uh, see my recommended chord sheet. From there, it's the A minor to C, D, and F, so the standard way of doing it, and it's a minor, E, A minor, E. The same as what we did in the intro. So it's just that kind of one little bit extra. But it's amazing how much that can throw people and just accept that if it's new to you, try and get the riff first of all, and then use the chord sheet to help you. But just remember, it's always the same four chords to start with. A minor, C, 
D and F. That always happens every other time. But in between that, if it's still sort of singing and we're still mid-verse, A minor, C, stay on the E. Then, when it's getting towards the end of a verse, on the other time it would be A minor, E, A minor, E. Let's have a little strum and sing along now, see how it goes. Many of you, if you are singing along or you want to do the rest of this song, you will prefer just to strum and forget about the picking. That's why it's so important to try and get the sound of the picking at the start. But if you're singing as well and you're following a chord sheet, there's so much to do that people's heads can explode. I've seen it happen. Heads have exploded. So please just try and get you know more than the first minute or so of this song with strumming if, if it's not happening for you. And what we need to do then is sort of have um, a kind of uh, a cycle of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which is weird for music because we, we can only normally count to four as musicians. That's the running joke. One, two, three, four, five, six per chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the riff would now go, there is a house, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. They call the rising sun. And then the standard chord sequence we already know and it's been the ruin of many a poor boy and God I know I'm one okay then a C instrumental bit It is that cycled for the entire song, but it is tricky when you first do it. There is loads more help on my website at andyguitar.co.uk about how to play all these chords, get a handle on the strumming. But I hope this is a song you persevere with, especially that first part with the little picking and strum and things, because it's so, so handy. It really helps a lot of people to have an acoustic guitar riff. We don't have a lot of riffs on acoustic guitar. This is a great one. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and make your song requests in the description below. And it might make a tutorial in the future. My name's Andy. Bye for now.